Hey Taurus, so today we're going to go ahead and look at your new love reading. This is for those of you who are single, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And we're going to take a look and see who is this new person that's coming into your life. Who is your next love, next encounter. So we're going to get some details on how you'll know who this person is, who they are, what this connection will be like between the two of you and any other details that need to come up here today. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I feel like there's something being worked through when it comes to the past. This could be possibly connected to a person. Um, of course, Six of Cups can be a past individual, a past person, past connection, relationship. It's almost like I'm being shown something is going on with that to where pieces of a puzzle are being put together or there's going to be kind of a revealing of something or a puzzle being put together. Um, but let's get the cards out here. Spirit, tell me about the message today for the collective, please. What is the message here today? Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. We also have the Seven of Cups. Okay, I'm hearing this country song in my mind. I think it's called Blame It. Blame It or Blame It On You. I don't know who sings it, but there's something about Blame It On The Whiskey or I Could I could Blame It On The Whiskey. Um, but anyway, okay, let's see. Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. What is this message here today? There's a lot of energy going on, which actually feels like with the Seven of Cups, this is what I'm picking up on. Like there's many thoughts in the air right now about something. I don't know if this is you thinking this or this is somebody connected to you because I believe that song also does talk about regrets, um, regrets of the past, regrets of mistakes made in a relationship. So I do feel like there's something, there's some kind of energy being put in right now that someone is doing a lot of contemplation or feeling kind of mixed up when it comes to a connection or a past connection since we have the Six of Cups as well. Yeah, I do feel this is a message for someone to where there's someone who's thinking about sending you a message or that could be vice versa if that connects with you. And actually she has her hand on this one here with the hearts because I'm being shown something about like typing something out. So for some of you, it does feel that way. We also have the tower at the bottom of the deck here. There's a lot going on. The Hierophant, the Ace of Swords. So there's that Ace of Swords with some clarity. Okay, so I feel like something wants to be resolved is what this is. There's something that wants to be resolved, which I do feel is for a lot of you from the past, a situation from the past, a person from the past that wants to resolve something. And I do feel with the tower, this is, yeah, this is kind of complicated because I feel for some of you, this also could be that you are going through a tower moment or you will go through a tower moment when it comes to connecting the dots to something from the past. Whether it's because you receive this communication, we'll have to clarify more, or it is connected to something that you just, I don't know, you realize or you come to terms with or something that goes on within yourself. It's like there's pieces being put together about the past here or will be. And it's leading to some kind of enlightenment here for somebody with the Hierophant. But I'm just getting this very muddled up energy with the Seven of Cups to where there's for some reason there's like many options here to choose from or there's many directions that one could go. So this actually feels kind of ungrounded. So I wonder if maybe because with this tower in the background, after that tower falls, it's like we're left with all the pieces, all these pieces of, this, of the um, building. So it's almost like what to do now that the tower has fallen, what to do now that this clarity has come in, or which choice do I make, or which direction do I go in. So this is either happening currently, or these readings can also happen months later, I've also found. So if it's not right now, it could be incoming. And I feel like, yeah, I keep hearing that song and I keep hearing something now about I wish I could have, or I wish I did. So there's someone who has some regrets here. 
I wasn't sure this was going to be a love reading. I actually brought out different decks which were not really connected to love, but I guess it's going to be a love reading, at least part, part of it. So there's someone who does have regrets and it's like I'm getting spirit say this has to be sorted out I'm hearing so this could be a few different things some of you might feel the urge within yourself right now to clarify whether it's you going on like an inner journey with this or it's happening outside you know externally there's something that spirit's saying it's time to like look at this or it's time to like face this and I do feel it's going to bring about this tower moment so it's like the universe is bringing the situation forward because it's supposed to be resolved right now or it's about to something's about to happen which will you know again kind of resolve it um And I'm hearing with the tower, it's in order to, it's it's in order for this tower to finally fall. You know, it's like this crump, this uh, shaky foundation has been here for too long, and it's finally time for this to be torn down because we're either supposed to rebuild it in the right way now, or it's really time to just sweep all those pieces away and leave it behind. So it feels like a a waited for change or a necessary change is what this reading is about. Probably connected for most of you to a romantic connection, but if you can apply it otherwise, then it could be. But it feels like for most of you, that's what this is. I keep hearing Leo too, so somebody could be a Leo, but that won't be the case for everybody. Pisces as well. It's like there's a turning point here. There's a certain, it's like we're walking down the street and we've hit a stop sign or actually that we've hit like a dead end. And now we are confronted with the decision of what do I do now? And so that could look differently for different people. It could be something to where you've reached the end of relationship. It could also be that someone around you has reached this tower moment in some way or another. There's just like, I don't know how else to put it. There's like just some kind of juncture that's been reached where moving forward now, we have to do something about it. It's like there's a push to do something about this. So let's get some more information. I'm also being shown a card from a deck that I haven't used in a super long time. Uh, it's called the Sweat Lodge, if it's from the Shamanic Oracle. So I know that card, I, I know there's like a deeper meaning to it, which I don't know. But for me, the Sweat Lodge, I believe it talks about like when you're in the kind of like a sauna or, you know, I know it's more of like a spiritual context, but I don't know the details of it. But it's about kind of sweating it out or releasing the energies that we've been accumulating or releasing toxins. And in this case, it feels like the toxins or the um, energy is some kind of pent up regrets mixed with confusion about a past situation, a past person. Uh, they feel that way for you. And it's like we're being asked to just like go into that sauna. Uh, could even be like actually if that's safe for you or if that's something that you resonate with, you know, maybe you want to visit a sauna because it could help to release toxins from your from your physical body. But I think it's also more of just like an energetic release. Um, and I keep being shown, I don't know if I mentioned it or if I just saw it, but there's something about like taking a pen to paper. So I do feel for a lot of you, this could be involving some form of communication that will be incoming or possibly even for you. If you feel guided to communicate with somebody, if you feel guided even to write a letter to somebody and then burn it, whether you send it or not, there's just something about like we need to get it out of our system sort of is the feeling here. Okay, so let's get some detail here. Um, I'm going to use this Oracle deck and see what we have. So tell us more about this message, Spirit. Tell us more about this message, please. 
I'm also being shown somebody with a soap bar and it looks like they're like aggressively cleansing their body with soap. So I keep getting references of cleansing, the sauna, the sweating, um, cleansing with soap. So I don't know, I feel like that does relate to more of this metaphorical cleanse that's happening. Um, something about like I need to go through a cleanse or somebody here is going through a cleanse of some kind. So let's see, tell us more spirit about this message. Okay, so we have a wish will be granted. We have the timing is summer. This summer uh, energy has been coming up in almost every reading for the last month or so. So there definitely seems to be something really big happening in the summer. So this would be in the next like five, six months, even if you're in a different part of the world. Um, so I feel like there's something going on with this. So a wish will be granted. Yeah, I actually kind of feel some of you... For some reason, the phrase popped in my mind, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. Um, again, we'll have to definitely go more in this reading because there's a there's there's sort of a mysterious aspect to this, but I do feel for some of you, there's a wish that's coming in. There's a wish coming in here and it's one of these things that you've looked at, one of these options here, something that's... Yeah. It's like I'm being shown a car stuck and then it and then it is able to move. It's able to drive forward. So there's definitely some unstucking here or unstuck energy that's happening in regards to the situation. For most of you, it's love related. And I do feel for some of you, you have been waiting for this for a while. Okay, with the Ace of Swords. This kind of connects also to the other readings that I've done connected to love. Um, but I do feel with the Ace of Swords, there's this feeling of more so it's coming from a truth that you've wanted to hear for a while. It's a truth that you've wanted to see somehow. You've wanted to understand something. You've wanted to see something. Possibly you've wanted to hear something from someone. Um... We have assert yourself with others. You are being guided in your current situation, but are you listening? And we have here forgiveness of yourself and others is crucial for your future happiness. So this for me connects to the tower, the references of the sweating and the soap. So whatever this is, it involves, this will either allow you to finally release something or it's, you know, maybe you're just being encouraged, what, however this is going to be, to, um, yeah, to release something or to look within yourself to release something. Let me get a few more tarot cards here. Because there's something with this assert yourself with others that this situation when it comes in because for a lot of you it feels to be a situation um, unless this could relate to you it being an internal change then it could be that as well depending but there is something with this of the tower of like there's an energy here of having to stand up for yourself during this um, tell me a little bit more, Spirit, with the tarot here about what are you talking about with this situation? Can you tell us a little bit more? Yeah, I'm being shown something is reeled back in. They showed me a boat, Queen of Wands, the boat that has drifted to sea, and then somebody's taking a rope and reeling the boat back in. So, yeah, this is going to take some unraveling with this reading. But with the Queen of Wands, I feel like there's something being reeled back in. Possibly, of, of course, about yourself. Like, you could be reeling yourself back in, if that makes sense. You know, you've, with this red dress here, maybe you lost your confidence or you lost something about yourself. You know, this may be assertive energy within yourself. This kind of, um, this like spunk about yourself. Maybe you lost it. And somehow or another you are reeling yourself back in. And this could be a very deep message. You know, this could be that you releasing something or you going into that sweat lodge and you kind of forgiving somebody or forgiving yourself or just all of those bricks crumbling down. That might be the catalyst for you to reel yourself back in on a deep spiritual level because you're reconnecting to yourself. Um, and it also could be more in a 3D grounded perspective of 
you could be faced with a situation where it's going to require you or give you a test to assert yourself with this person or this com communication. See, it's like I'm stumbling over that because maybe you have to, I don't know, be more clear with somebody. We'll get some more detail about that Ace of Swords because I was getting that regret that came through. So somehow or another, there's a regret here that someone has. I don't know if they're going to be telling you this or if it's something that like even you feel regretful about something um, and see you're being guided. I feel like a lot of you, whatever the situation is, because for some of you, it just is happening later in the summer. Whenever it does come in, you will be very guided by spirit in terms of you will know what to do. But also, I feel like it's important that. Like it says here, are you listening? Um Maybe some of you here, you know, have to forgive yourself. Tell us a little bit more. Queen of Pentacles. Five of Wands. The Page of Cups. The Three of Swords. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so this Page of Cups I do feel is the wish that's being granted, and for some of you it is because you're going to hear from somebody. It is because there's an incoming communication. I'm hearing lay it all out there. So this could be that someone will lay it all out there, or you also will have to lay it all out there. This reading is going to be different groups of you, because it's going to depend on what this is. It could be that this is an opportunity for you to lay it all out there when it comes to being yourself when it comes to maybe um, get, like having the opportunity to resolve any conflict, forgive somebody. I also feel that for some of you, for some of you, there could be like a third party energy here going on or some complicated situation, which is either why this situation is coming back around because somebody has gone through a tower moment and they could be wanting to approach you or lay it all out there. But I do feel that the bottom line here is that you're being guided and you have to listen to what that guidance is for you. Hmm. Let me get some of these specific cards to see if they can give us like some more detail because this feels very, I don't know if it's because there's many people here that are going to watch this or there's many um, categories of this message, but there's, it's not, it's, there's, a ton of different things. It feels like that Seven of Cups. I think I said that in the very beginning too. That's how the energy feels. Like for some reason or another, I don't know, there's like tons of different options here or many opportunities or there's just, or I should say more so choices to be made, considerations, thoughts. There's just a lot here. So let's get some of these to see, Spirit. Can you give us some specifics as to what this message today is about, please? Because they keep pointing back to that Queen of Wands, that however this will connect with you, if you could take anything away from the reading, the main thing is that you're, again, reeling yourself back in. And if something does try to also reel you back in, it's not clear to me the outcome of that situation or the intentions of that. We'll have to see later. But I do feel like um, either way, you kind of being assertive within yourself and you, you know, just shining as this Queen of Wands is the, the main message here because there's a wish coming through. There's a wish being granted for you. It just seems very complicated or it seems like you'll have to hold your ground whenever this happens or whenever this comes in. So give us some specific spirit. How will the viewer kind of know what this is and how this connects with them, please? Can you give us some specifics? Yeah, and they're showing me that clarity coming in again somehow or another this is like a light bulb moment that you're having or you will have that 
it's like a it's like a light going off here with something that you're gonna see something clearly or something you've wanted to understand will come in you are being guided but you also have to listen to your intuition so let's see Okay, so we have now is a time to think outside of the box and change your approach when it comes to an endeavor that you've been focused on. So for me, this is also definitely going with the Queen of Wands because, um, yeah, okay, so your creative talents will soon ignite as you will be surrounded by an energy of inspiration. So for a lot of you, they keep wanting to like, it's almost like every time I'm looking over here, my eyes keep going back to the Queen of Wands because they want somebody to know that like it's time to do things differently. It's time to, you know, lay it all out there. In this here, it does show somebody painting. So for some of you, there could be multiple messages in this reading because I was getting a love message. So the other part of it could be about your creative talents. Maybe someone here for you, you are you know, becoming more creative, you are uh, being asked to not sort of back down from asserting yourself, whatever that means. It could even be that this whole situation, even if it is love, is going to be kind of the catalyst for you to go into that sweat lodge so that you can become the best version of yourself. There's just something changing within yourself here. There's something here where there's wishes coming in. There's a certain wish that is being granted. Okay, so we also have, you will soon inherit a great fortune that will add to your financial means. So, yeah, so for some of you, the Knight of Pentacles, this is also a message for career life purpose that... You will inherit something or there's going to be a big breakthrough when it comes to your creative talents and abilities your insights and intuition are currently expanding at this time this will allow you to see situations for what they really are and release any doubts that you may have so again that does confirm what i was saying about the ace of swords so it makes better sense as we go along <laughs> um, it feels like there's certain i'm here in gemini there's certain things that i feel like you are really beginning to see clearly and, and again i will say for this reading it does feel like this might be a future timeline reading so maybe near the summertime closer to that area or now until the summer there's things that i feel are the fog is going away the fog is dissipating here and for some of you who are creative people or who are just going to be focusing on reeling yourself back in there's a message here to where that fog that's going to go away especially because because i am getting that love message so i wonder we'll have to go look more at that because there's something that came up in the beginning but i wonder because i kind of feel like they want you to focus maybe more on yourself right now um in terms of how this connects to yourself so again there's many different scenarios for this reading but maybe some of you some truth is revealed in your environment some truth comes out with a person or situation around you um, you may go into a deep healing energy within yourself to heal heartbreak about the past all types of things here and i feel like what, what i was saying was that somehow you releasing the doubts with that situation will accelerate your life in other areas so i hope that makes sense like if you have certain parts of your love life that you have been again in pain about or um have been very confusing for you possibly even for some of you with the tower some unexpected offer or unexpected thing that comes in connected to a person that in itself it's hard to say this here but like that in itself will be the opportunity for you to see that situation clearly so you see yourself clearly so that you can have these better events in your life moving forward this year so i really hope that makes sense it's like there's layers to this which is what i felt in the beginning there's like layers here of this whole thing so it's like an onion you know the outside of it is what you see on the surface so like the outside could be pain and then you go a layer deeper it's connected to a person then you go a layer deeper it's connected to 
how that person makes you feel, layer deeper, what they're showing you. It's like there's just min much of that going on. But yeah, the bottom line here is that there's greater emotional fulfillment coming in, okay? So with the Queen of Wands, if you have been feeling this pain, if you've been feeling that something happened recently, or again, you've just kind of gone deep within yourself or you will to realize that, you know, there's you need this, fine, this um, emotional fulfillment, you being assertive and pulling yourself back from the sea, you know, that's going to bring you that. So if you lost yourself at sea, if you um, drowned in a situation, if you just you know, somehow need to forgive, you know, that card forgiveness, need to forgive someone or forgive your past mistakes. These are all the onion that is peeling back. Okay. Okay, so we have a lot of these come up here. So we have, yeah, so a time of evolution and growth of self approaches. You will feel a higher frequency of energy surrounding you in comparison to recent past. So that's just confirming the same thing. Let's see what else we have here. Wow. So yeah, we have there has been an area of your life that has felt like it's been on hold for some time. New possibilities and work and business will soon unfold that will help you to get out of this rut. You will be entering into a transitional phase in which you may feel restless. Things may seem complicated at this time, but these changes are needed to help you move forward on your journey. We have here unexpected help will arrive from another and then we have financial constraints may leave you feeling wary about your future. Take time to budget your finances. So the fact that we didn't get any messages here about love. Okay, oh, that's so funny. At the bottom, balance will soon be restored as a lost love will reach. So the, the, the okay, so the reason that this is at the bottom here, because it could have come up as the main cards, but it didn't. And just as I was going to say, there's nothing about love. This is at the bottom. This is telling me two things. For some of you, this could have already happened. And that is the tower that you're realizing that maybe this is not, you know, for you. I will look at this, but I'll look at it kind of in a little bit because I don't think spirit wants you to mainly focus on that. It could also be that that will be coming in. Some lost love will reach out to you, but it could happen later or it's happening after you go through this time of self evolution. Or they just simply don't want you to focus on that because if you did focus on it, if you did focus on that, um, then this, these other things wouldn't be handled or these other things wouldn't happen. Okay. Hmm. Because that's what I was getting right when that card came out, the Page of Cups here and the Three of Swords, and my throat just got really tickly. Um, that's the first thing that I intuitively heard was something about someone reaching out. And see, it's a child here, which gives me the feeling of a lost love. So I will look at that. Um, I do think that we will do an extended, but I will look at it here too, for those of you who aren't going to be going to the extended, but because there's a, there's like tons of that, the onion feeling in this reading. So I will also be looking more at, for a lot of you, this is connected to something within your creativity, your self evolution. So we will focus a lot in the extended if you're interested in yourself and what that means for your spiritual journey moving forward, since I feel like that's the main thing they want you to focus on. But I do want to kind of look deeper into exactly how this tower will come about for you. So we'll look at that as well, because um, there's so many things here. Some of you also, there could be someone coming in to help you that could be part of the Ace of Swords. Or I'm also getting that that help could be in the form of even this possible offer coming in, which is going to get you to where you're going. Yeah, so I really hope this reading makes sense because I feel like it's a kind of a rabbit hole feeling here. Um, so I just shuffled this deck and at the bottom when I shuffled, 
we have give yourself permission to feel anger and resentment breathe and then let it go with love forgive yourself for not knowing better so see that's what i've been getting there's some kind of tower moment i just don't know if you've already had it or if it's just something that you're um you know sitting there and kind of journaling about or going within about it could be that or again it could be coming in later but there's this feeling of this tower will come in somehow or another and see how she's kind of screaming it's like the all these pieces have to fall and the reason that they're doing it is so that this new evolution of yourself to where you are the queen of wands forgiveness seems to be essential here so forgiving yourself for not knowing better forgiving yourself for um that onion feeling of like the the middle part of the onion the parts of you that maybe you've held on to or the um um you know the the anger and where that comes from on a deep healing level for most of you probably a heartbreak a lost love maybe or heartbreak maybe even something that you see something that triggers this but it's all in order for that tower to be rebuilt which spirit wants to really tell you a strong message that this tower when it's going to rebuild is going to give you so much more peace and joy and fulfillment than you've ever had in the past so it's a really it's a really positive thing so allow the tower to happen you know if you want to be uh, angry if you want to feel sad if you want to um, feel upset allow yourself to feel every emotion so let's just get a few more here. Is there anything else that the collective needs to hear today? Be vulnerable. Allow them to see your true feelings. Being vulnerable is the only way to allow your heart to experience true, true pleasure. Dare to love openly. Yeah, so that's the Queen of Wands. And that's also what we had about the being assertive. Because in that same kind of way, on the same token of that, is the Queen of Wands and the red here. The more passionate or the, uh, I guess, passionate, but the more vulnerable, loving that you are within yourself and being just completely confident and knowing who you are. That's how this kind of next chapter of you opens. So if it does come down to it with the Page of Cups, if you have an offer come in in love, um, being vulnerable and open and being your true self, forgiving somebody maybe, maybe having the opportunity to forgive somebody because it does say here to rebuild, I'm noticing. So we have wherever you're going make sure to use protection this love trip will be filled with passion and adventure enjoy it because you deserve it so you're going somewhere so much of this queen of wands gives me that feeling so much red comes up here too so maybe it could be like root chakra for some of you maybe something about valentine's day there's just a lot of red i'm getting here we have not all endings are sad stay hopeful because you will have your happy ending your manifestation is coming much sooner than you think yeah so there's this manifestation coming in for you but it's almost like they don't want you to know too much about it or to focus too much about it because then it can kind of divert you from this growth that you need to go through first but let me um before we go into the extended and i will get much more cards about again yourself um i'm going to see what exactly this tower is going to be and just kind of go with it intuitively using some different cards since this reading feels like it could go in many different directions i'll just see what spirit wants to say but i do want to see what this why is this at the bottom spirit is this something that the viewer is moving away from is this a warning what is this lost love here because it i felt like i needed to see it at the bottom of the deck Can you tell us what the viewer needs to know about that? This lost love, reaching out to rebuild. Ten of Swords. The King of Wands. The Emperor reversed. And at the bottom we have the Two of Cups. I'm hearing the song now. Um, unsteady. Hold. What is it? hold on to me because I'm a little unsteady so this is somebody that I feel it could be a Leo for some because I was getting that Aries we have strongly 
they don't have to be could be Sagittarius but also could be any other sign um, Hmm. Tell me more about this person, this lost love. Two of Swords. King of Cups. There's two Kings here, Four of Wands. Knight of Swords. This person could be going through something right now. Um, they could be going through, I don't know, something very difficult. This would be a past person. This would be a lost love. Um, I'm hearing I've saved, I'm hearing something like I've saved your name on my phone. So, I mean, yeah, I guess they, of course, they have your contact information for a lot of you, but maybe they... Something about, or maybe I saved your name in my heart or something like that. Or maybe I saved your photo. But I feel like this person... It's almost like with the, there's two... There could be two people coming in for you. Maybe two offers. Because I'm noticing... Yeah, there's a lot here. The, the King of Wands is the counterpart to the Queen of Wands. So... And here we have another character and also the Knight of Swords. I'm hearing losing control, losing my control. Spirit, what does this lost love want from the viewer? Because I, I feel like with the King of Cups, they've been holding back their emotions for you for a while, for a long time. They've been holding back their emotions for you for a long time. And it's almost like with the Ten of Swords here and the Two of Swords, they've given up on... It's like they've crumbled somehow. Something within their emotions have crumbled where... What does the viewer need to know about this lost love? A date or an invitation is near. So again, some of you, this lost love could be reaching out to you for a date or an invitation to something. It could be a trip for somebody. The timing is spring. Okay, so this could be, see, there's something revealed to you which is going to be revealed, see, or something hidden from you which is going to be revealed. I keep getting that onion feeling. I know it's strange, but it's that feeling where there's so many layers to the situation. Um, there, This lost love could be happening before the summer in which the summer is more so maybe when you have the full kind of sun is out, the full clarity of something, or just that you found your path, you found your independence fully. But someone's offering, this person, this lost love, could be offering something to you in the next three months or so, two to three months maybe even. Let me get one more card and then I will look more in the extended um, at this situation and how it connects to this whole thing. Um, one card, Spirit, what does the viewer need to know about this lost love? Can you be clear in terms of like what is the relevance of this to the reading that we had today of everything that came through? Okay, so don't let it get out of control. Emotional eating will not help you make peace with your internal distress. Heal your triggers. And then we have take a vacation from your love life. Travel, go shopping, have a girl's night. Leave your worries behind and choose to do what makes you happy. So for some of you, this is more so connected to that reeling in of yourself, the Queen of Wands. Whatever this date is going to be, I don't know. We'll look at it. But it seems like it's the, the main, again, the main focus of this is that um, 
you're doing your own thing and whatever was hidden about this lost love, whether it's something that you're just emotionally coming to terms with, because it does say here too about the triggers. Even if this is not emotional eating, it could be like anything that you do in excess. Some false craving attached to this. It's very interesting. But just know that you will have more clarity about this lost love. And again, that might be when this invitation comes in that you will see something more clearly. But right now is time to focus on your own self growth. And I think this all could be connected to what we have before the tower, the three of swords, things that maybe you've held on to connected to this, um, which somehow which somehow you're reclaiming kind of yourself because you had the other card that came up about true love is coming in. So yeah, we'll, we'll go more into this in extended, but let me just close this off with anything that this lost love wants to say to you to give some of you clarity as to what this means. Because again, I don't feel like it's the main focus of your reading, but I do want to see why it was there. Uh, and then we'll pull one final advice and then we'll go over to the extended. Can you show us anything connected to this lost love, please, Spirit, for the viewer? What does this person want to say to the viewer? How can like their higher self come up in this reading to help the viewer understand what is it about their presence in this reading that is what they want to say to make sense of this situation? What does this lost love want to say to the viewer from their higher self to give them some kind of clarity as to why they're coming through. That's kind of what I thought. We have, I made the wrong turn, and honestly, the grass was not greener. So I was kind of getting that with the emperor. This person may have made a decision in the past, which they now regret. See, they've been thinking a lot about you. I think I mentioned that too. They've been doing a lot of thinking about you. And with that two of swords, it gives me the feeling to where they've hidden these feelings again for a while. And maybe they're just going to get to the point of a break with that like they, they need to reach out or invite you somewhere we have I want to get away from the burdens I have to deal with but I'm stuck right now yeah this is somebody who's stubborn see so they are holding back so it makes better sense I feel like this is somebody who's just been holding back a lot of their emotions for you they're getting to the point of probably about to send you some kind of invitation I have no idea what that means for you in terms of how you feel about that some of you you're just entirely not even wanting anything to do with that and that is just take the first part of the message um, that this is just your time to shine. It's your time to deal with the situation differently. Okay. In terms of how you've approached this before, it's like you're maybe sailing away kind of from this person. Um, but something revolving around their mistakes that they've made is going to come to light some way or another. But they seem to be very stubborn and holding back on this few more that they have to say to you I'm sweeping away toxicity to make room for what's truly important so with the Emperor reversed and the King of Cups it gives you that cleansing feeling again too with the tower so it could also be connected to the tower too to them to where there's a lot being kind of uh, in general for you and for them that's being sort of um, Everything, everything's just reaching a time where things are coming up to the shore in all areas right now of your life, including them. And that shore is going to reveal everything on the sand now. And then it's like you see everything more clearly. Okay, because this person has a lot of love for you. I love you. We have I promise you and we have you deserve the best and I respect you. I want to do the right thing and see this card just flew. I know that I want you in my future. I'm working on making the proper plans. Interesting. So yeah, we'll look at that. I feel like this is um, somebody who seems to like wanting, well, they're holding back because they probably have another situation and that kind of dam is about to break in terms of what they're feeling um, to some level about their, their love for you that they've always had or that they have, you know, yeah, that they've always had. Um, and I just think that they're trying to, with the Emperor reversed, 
get a handle on all this and um, possibly having to tend to these other things. And it's like your growth maybe is what's reeling this back in. But since that card came up about you doing your own thing, going out with your, it says something about going out with your friends. You know, I think that that's for right now, you focusing on you and letting them kind of deal with this is why it came up at the bottom of the deck because it's creeping, you know, it's like, um, it's creeping in the background closer to you, but it's not the main focus, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna get one card of advice and then we'll leave it there. What is the final advice for the viewer? about anything. What is the final advice for the viewer? We have kelp, okay, which is a seaweed, I believe. Well, some of you quite literally are being um, encouraged to spend time near the water, especially the ocean, if you do live near the ocean, because it can be very cleansing but um, for some reason it gives me the impression of like how it's at the bottom of the sea and I don't know let's get one more actually I'm not really sure what what that is in terms of advice what is the advice for the viewer one more What is the advice for the viewer? We have fertility. And there's two people here. They look like it's a passionate kind of thing. So um, for a lot of you, regardless of this lost love, because that is definitely not something that I feel, maybe some of you, it's, it's not that, but it could be some union of some kind which is coming in in terms of a new love maybe, or a manifestation of love, something which is a very fertile ground to build on now, okay, after the tower crumbles. You being the queen of wands, actually I just saw something in my mind and I didn't know, now I've lost what it was, but it was something involving a child or something involving pregnancy so that's only going to be for somebody but if you have been wanting to have a child or if you've been hoping to maybe um you know have a relationship or you it's like there's something about your energy which is becoming very fertile meaning that um it's becoming very attractive and alluring and also very fertile for any abundance to grow it's like you are now becoming an like an open flower and maybe before you were a bit sort of wilted and you weren't fully in your power okay so yeah the advice really i don't really think this is advice it's just more so saying that you're on the right track the advice is to focus on what it is that can grow i'm hearing so focus on the things that are growing for you focus on the things that can bring you things that will grow further and anything else in the background is kind of just being purged at this point from your life so I will leave it here. Um, I really hope this reading could help. I hope it could make sense. And um, thanks so much for being here. And I will go over to the extended and we're just gonna kind of free flow with it, but I will look more at the tower. I'll look more at this lost love and this invitation. I will look more at just what's coming in for you on your own journey and what you need to know about this new start for you. And so, yeah, um, I will leave it here and I'll talk to you all next time. Take care and lots of love.